Hello, so my name is Attila Hax and I'm the CMS DAQ technical coordinator. So right now we are in the ground floor data center. So this room is the first step of uh, what uh, the DAQ group has to prepare for the long shutdown that will be next summer. Up to run three, uh, the data acquisition system was processing two terabit per second of data coming from the detector. And for run four, after the long shutdown, we will have to process 50 terabit per second of data. Now, to give an analogy, one terabit of data is 10,000 times more data than what you have at home when you are connected with a fiber. A fiber at home usually gives you 100 megabit per second, and 100 megabit is more than enough to have every member of the family browsing uh, the internet, looking at it, Netflix movie, uh, doing some homework, doing everything at home. 100 megabit is already a lot. But we are moving uh, from two terabit that I remember now it's 20,000 times the capability of one home, one house. We go from two terabit to 50 terabit per second. With this new room that we are in now and the refurbishment of the first floor room, we will have up to five megawatts of the of um, of uh, data center. So we are moving from one megawatt to five megawatt, and this will be needed to process the data coming from the new detector when we will be in the high luminosity mode of LHC. We will completely re refurbish the data center we have at the first floor. We already started to, uh, the process of refurbishment, but during this long shutdown, we still need computing services. We have to build a little data center, and that's the one that we are close to be finished. Traditionally, in data centers, the, so the limitation is always coming from the cooling system. And uh, usually uh, they are dealing with it by increasing the size and the floor space of the data center. In this room, we are using uh, a cooling technology that is not uh, very used elsewhere. Is the direct, uh, so it's the racks with water cooling doors included. And those racks are able to go up to 60 kilowatt per rack heat removal and that's quite uh, uncommon in traditional data centers. That will allow us to completely use the rack space for uh, installing server servers into that. 